Let's go ahead and have a look at selecting and transforming our objects here in Cinema 4D. So let's go ahead and drop a few items here into the scene. Let's talk about selecting our objects first. Come over here, and we've got our different selection tools. And again, these look very similar to something you might find in Photoshop. So a live selection tool, we can just select these individually. We can come up here and grab our rectangular selection tool, and you can draw a box around the selection. I could grab all of them if I wanted. Lasso selection, sort of a freehand draw tool. So if you need to get in between objects, it's pretty easy to do with that. And then we have our polygonal lasso tool, which draws straight lines and close it off, and you've got your selection. Another way that we could select our objects is to come over here into the Objects Manager, select the cube, the torus, the sphere. I could drag select any number of these. Now, after I have my object selected, I can actually move the object by grabbing one of these arrows. So you can move in the Z, the X, or the Y. I can also come over here and grab my Move tool, select an object, and move it in the same way. With the Move tool selected, however, I can also grab outside of one of these arrows and move the object around, which is different than grabbing with the Live Selection tool because you actually have to grab an arrow. You grab outside of one of the arrows, it's going to deselect it. So that's a big difference between the Live Selection tool and the Move tool. Now, something you want to take a look at, when I select one of my objects, I have this little axis band visible. These little things that look like little A's. I've got one for X, Y, and Z. Now, these are on in my scene because under Filter, Axis Band, I have this turned on. So you may or may not have yours turned on. If you don't, you can turn it on by going to Filter, Axis Bands. This allows me to grab and move this in two directions at one time. So I can move it in Z, Y, X, Z, depending on which one of these that I grab. As opposed to if it's off, you just don't have that option. So bottom line, with the axis bands on, it allows you to move the object in two axes at one time. So let's move on to the scale tool. We click on one of these, we can scale our object up. Now you'll notice that it scales up in all directions at once. If we grab the little dots here, we can scale on an individual axis. If I hold the Shift key down and scale, it will constrain to increments of 10. Then finally we have the Rotate tool. Frame that up by hitting O on my keyboard. And we can grab the bands and we can rotate in any of our axis. Again, if we hold Shift down, we can constrain that to increments of 10. So that can definitely come in handy, depending on what you're doing. OK, so that's it. That's the basics for selection and making transformations here in Cinema 4D.